Hey there, welcome to the Virtual Electrician, TVE, your one-stop shop for do-it-yourself electrical help. After watching my video on installing a wire in a panel, you are now ready to install the breaker. Remember, the bus bar and everything connected to the bus bar is energized. So to be safe, your best chance of not getting shocked is to turn the main breaker off. Once you do this, the bus bar will be de-energized. However, you'll be left in the dark. Make sure you have a headlamp or some sort of battery operated light so that you can see what you're doing. Let's go ahead and turn the main breaker off. I'm still going to have light because my lights are not connected to this panel. Once you have flipped the main off, it's important to remember that you still can get shocked here. We can't go throwing around wires. The two hots coming into your panel that are connected to the main breaker are still energized. So you can touch anything else in the main panel but those two main legs of power coming in. Now I've seen an electrician fail a panel change because it did not look professional. We don't want someone saying our work is sloppy, so follow these few tips to make it look nice and tight. It is important to make 90 degree turns when making up the connections. It gives you that nice professional look. And just like anything you wire up, you want to connect the ground first, then the neutral, and lastly, the hot. All you do is take your screwdriver and bend the wire around it to get your 90 degree bend. You will want each wire to have its own lug. Inspectors don't like to see two wires under the same lug, especially not a ground and neutral together, because if that lug loosens up and you have your ground and neutral under the same lug, then you've completely lost any path back to the panel to complete the circuit. You'll probably see two grounds under the same lug that are the same size, and that's okay. But a neutral and a ground, or two neutrals under the same lug, is a big no-no. Once you get your ground connected, you make the same 90 degree turn with the neutral wire. Find an open spot and tighten down. Now, all you have left is the hot wire. I like to measure the wire to where the breaker is going to go. Cut it to the appropriate length, and then take the breaker completely out. This makes it easy to attach the wire to the breaker, especially if the panel is really full. If it's full, you may be fighting to get it on the breaker. Plus, you can't see the breaker screw very well, and sometimes you think you have it tightened down, but you really don't. Take it off, tighten the screw, and snap it back in place. Voila! Now you're ready to turn back on the main breaker. Check out our other videos on installing breakers. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our page for more videos.